not cool. Hello, hello, good evening everybody. How are you guys doing? Welcome to yet another episode of Out My Money. Um, to give a bit of context before the rest of uh, my lovely friends come online, um, you may hear some strange noises from my side because I have a treadmill coming in to the house. So that's going to be a bit of background. Also. But bear with me, I am the culprit. Okay, let's see who is coming on first. First, who is that? Oh, my nostrils are so Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to teach this trick to the viewers. The marshmallow <laughs> trick that, that Rachel taught you. Marshmallow. How's the marshmallow feeling? <laughs> I, like must a marshmallow. Say, I must say yes, like marshmallow now. <laughs> <laughs> no. At no, least you're not a marshmallow. Don't, don't go to the visual. Yeah, okay. Mm. Oh, that's, that's not pleasant. <laughs> Pasta, let somebody else come in. Hello, Junho. Hi. What are you having? I'm having laced coffee. <laughs> laced coffee. Yeah. It doesn't work for me. It just gives me a headache. Like, I cannot decide if I am drowsy uh, yeah i know i can't say if i'm high or hyper and then i get confused okay. not very smart apparently so my brain gets easily confused <laughs> hello rachel yeah i feel like i have eating like marshmallow no, no, yeah, no I, I won't. I, won't. I feel like eating Rocky Road ice cream. <gasps> oh what? no, you know, all these all this suggest <laughs> all these suggest suggestions that are being planted right now. Oh my Rocky god. Rocky Road ice cream. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. You know, ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. That, that goes very Oops. well with your treadmill, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a mortal enemy of my treadmill. The reason that is the reason why I'm having a treadmill. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's very loud. Let's echo. Yeah, right. because I am sharing the thing on my the other show on my own face. <laughs> okay. Recently, okay, let's let's start off today's topic with my recent purchases. Okay. Right, Y'all see my lips so red, right? Let me show you off my recent purchases. Not show off, but I'll show you off. This one is um this one is recommended by my dear friend, our dear friend, and I think you all know right. I recognize and? this. Do you recognize no. this? Yes. You recognize this brand. <laughs> yes, I do recognize that brand. <laughs> zen, zen, zen. I bought two, don't tell one kai, it's like hundred plus. Well, how you going to say online and say hundred oh, plus? Each, <laughs> each one is fifty plus. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Let me ask you, you're buying it because of the specific colors and you can't find the color from other brands or you're buying it because it's Chanel. And then no. when you wear it, it will, it will, you will, you will, you will reek of Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. <laughs> if that's yeah. the case, what I'm going to do, I will draw the C here like this. <laughs> I'll draw it like this here so everybody knows. <laughs> no, I bought it. Okay, I was a bit hesitant because I've always had, uh, I've, I've always gotten drugstore brands. So like my previous uh, makeup is uh, like the lips is like twenty, ten, fifteen dollars that kind, right? And then um, even anything more than twenty, I would think it's very expensive. But then recently, I watched a show online on Netflix. I'm uh, talking about. Uh, Y'all can go and watch, it's called Broken. So it's about how counterfeit cosmetics are everywhere. And it got me really worried because because uh apparently this 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 cosmetics you can't really tell that they are that they are counterfeit and they are always from very uh cult brands like you know like Kylie Jenner brands or like the cult brands like very popular yeah. about the teens. 
Yeah, so what happened is that they always have a lot of counterfeit. And then they tested these counterfeit products that looks like the real thing. They really do like the real thing. And and there is like a lot of lead and stuff inside. There is it's lipstick, you know. So if lead you eat it in, right, you know it's very bad for not just your body but your brain also. So you become more and more stupid. <gasps> Another excuse for the people who using cheap lipstick. So <laughs> anyway, that was the reason why then I started looking for a very good brand. And then uh um and was telling me that use the Chanel brand. I was like, why? But it's very expensive. And it's not a big stick, you know. It's, a, it's not a big stick. Oh, that's what she said. But anyway, it's really not, it's really not big at all. See how small it is. You see how small this is? I feel like I'm doing You see how small this is? It's 15, you know. And then I was like, hi, you want me to 15? Yeah, I think size matters. <laughs> but in this case, I'm choosing quality. <laughs> Hurry, <laughs> pop this down to the side, yo. Sorry, children. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Does it last longer? <laughs> yes, it does. So I was hesitant to use it and then I said, okay, never mind, try hers first. So I tried it on and I, then I realized the reason why they're charging $50 for it. Why? There is a reason why. Number one, the color is very intense, so you don't have to put on a lot. Number two, um, you know how usually lipsticks that stays on and on, uh, they make your lips very dry. And you, your my lips are very easily dry that you crack. Uh, this doesn't. Why are you nodding your head? How do you know about lipstick that that makes that stays on that makes it dry? Oh, no, if you have, <laughs> no, if you have, if you have used lip balm, if you use lip balm before, ah, a bad lip balm, it will just go off very fast, one. No, yes. lip balm, right? When you put on lip balm, they put on a matte lipstick. It doesn't stay because there's oil and emollients on the lip balm, okay, right? Okay. Then, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just talking about lip balm. As an experience, I never put lip balm and then lipstick. I have okay. no idea about lipstick. Okay, no, but you understand what I mean? When you put lip balm, you know what the, the not so good one it is very, very thick, but it's not, it doesn't get absorbed very well. It just yeah. stays like a layer of grease on your lips, just gross. So, this one, right? I feel, I don't feel like I have something on my lips actually. It feels that light, but the color is how, really long, how long does it last you? Just curious. I think. A uh, five hours? That's like how I had food, you know. Then I had um I drank okay, most lipsticks, Korean brands specifically, I have tried. When I drink from wine glasses, it's very obvious that lip stain, yeah. right? Even yes, yes, I think you do yes. that and then it matches all over the thing. So I, even, I forgot to give you disposable <laughs> cup. <laughs> <laughs> so even if so even if some, some they say you let it dry. So even if I let it dry, it will still leave a stain. But this one, it doesn't. It doesn't leave a stain. Unless you eat like oily food. But even then, you will still have a bit of color left. Let me do like wow. a, what, what those people do online. Oh, the, the test is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, so I know. So, so you can kill the other man I, and it will not leave a mark. So the man... You That's know right, what? Douglas. The man should buy this for the mistresses. Yeah, no, yeah, but it's fifty. But it's fifty dollars for a stick, you know. Yeah, but then, is well, the consequence, the the consequence of leaving a mark is far more expensive than fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay, it's just fifty dollars, guys. Oh, are we like, are we like promoting adultery now? Horrible people, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, don't do that. Me. Just, just, just. Just stick with your original choice. Do be in the year while we are Thai, okay? Don't go and pluck the wildflower from the roadside. Your flower at home, just water it, okay? And then it will be a nice flower. Okay, so anyway, so anyway, and I was stunned <laughs> no, no, because wait. I cannot. Can I add up to it? My friend said, Bu chai, bai bu chai. After you tie, you don't know what is inside, okay? You bring it home, you know those then after that you touch the set. After that, yeah, your hand rotten, break off, poison. Then you need to go see doctor, etc. etc. <laughs> okay. You never know when it's poison IV, right? You touch mm. of trouble, okay? Wow, you put the idea of poison IV in my mind, think of Batman. Okay, fine, go on. Anyway, yeah, yeah, lipstick. Yeah, so I mean, that, that so that, that was my and I realized that was my only Chanel purchase ever. Even yeah, yeah ever. Even Will though you buy it again? It's very good. I will buy it again. The, reason, the only reason why I was I was willing to spend that amount was because I've tried it already. If I've never tried it before, I may not have bought it. So imagine you know the guy this this lipstick guy in China who tries like 
how many hundreds yeah, of yeah, how many yeah, lipstick, was, just, yeah. how many lipstick I think you in, use the remover yeah can, can you imagine if you're going to use some counterfeit product or whatever stuff and then he didn't know and then he used it and then his lips get like swollen after that wow Actually, they have, you know, they, they, they did an interview. Um, there was this girl who bought uh, a cult product from from online, uh, cheaper than what they were sell, so outside. But it's not in Singapore, like, overseas. And then apparently, after a few minutes after she tried it, she couldn't open the lips because they put super glue inside <laughs> for the shine. For the shine. Yeah, that's how, that's how horrible they are, you know. I mean, that's a horrible idea yeah. of putting super glue for the shine. Because for, again, for the shine, yeah. Yeah, but then again, you know some of, some of these um, artificial... Okay, you go and watch those food, YouTube food, you know, how they make the food look nicer and all those stuff. I think there was a video that actually showed how they make the products look more appetizing and all those things. But because nobody's eating, so it's just for it's different. TV. Yeah, yeah, and that's different. Thing for people to see. And then they, you see the things that they add in there just to give that shinier look, get that, that plumber look. Yeah, I think super glue was one of the ingredients. Wax, one of super the things glue, that they yeah. And yeah. it holds the thing together, ma. Yeah. So she, she had to she had to put the <laughs> nail remover on it, you know, as um, <laughs> Okay, yeah. I shouldn't be laughing at that, but this is horrible. People. So, so I started realizing that okay, maybe certain things I would, yeah, I, I will spend. So, so these are the okay. So actually, I don't buy branded bags, shoes, clothes, whatever. But the thing that I will spend on in terms of brand is is um skincare and certain cosmetics, like for example, primer or foundation that touches my skin directly. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I'm, I'm also like that. Yeah, I bought all that. My Chanel is. I only have one skin. Yes. Yeah. Try so this my skin was very good. No one nowadays you can go for, you know, cosmetic surgery and other stuff. My son well spent a little bit more on good expensive. skincare than spending on the cosmetic and stuff. But what, if, what if? What if? The alternative non-expensive skincare is equally good. I no, would think it's possible. Yeah, but I would, I would think it's possible, okay? Okay, so we come to today's topic. What type of branded products are you willing to pay for and why? It is possible that there is an alternate product that is cheaper and may have the same effect or maybe 99% of the effect. But who's going to try it out? No, you yeah. can always you can always that that there could be nobody's asking you to be the guinea pig. I mean the the thing the thing is okay, so so it's a matter, so it becomes a matter of whether you know of the product or not. Correct? Yeah, correct. Whether it's good or not, but whether you know that it's good or not. So so if, if somebody else tells you that hey, you know there's this there's this other product that is cheaper, um and it's not branded. Or is is drugstore brand and it's pretty good, and it costs a lot less. Then then would you buy that product versus the more expensive branded one? I would, I would. But I okay. So for I think it also comes with experience, right? So if let's say for me, I've tried so many different lip things, right? I haven't tried, of course, as many as the lip king in China. But I have tried a lot to the point where I'm a bit scared whenever the latest one comes out. Say is batch proof matte uh weightless uh intense color they always use these things you know then i try it. it's it's not the same i'm just it's a lie of course <laughs> it's really is, when have you have you not learned yet <laughs> so if you're still if you're still looking at advertisements and thinking that they're true <laughs> <laughs> no, but at least you must deliver like at least six. I would expect you to deliver at least sixty to seventy percent of whatever you claim, right? It's not at all. Hello, hello. Were you born yesterday? No, but I would expect at least fifty to sixty percent on the very least, right? I'm okay, not saying but, but hundred percent whatever. Yeah. But but then again, there will be people. Okay, I mean, there will be people who launch new products. And usually, mm -hmm. when people launch new products, they will give samples out and they give get people to test it out. And then after that, they will get these people to, to get testimonials on that. And then the word spread. Or there will be, or, or new products will be launched. People like, you no know, created something from their home and all those things. And then they think it's good. 
um, and they will sell it cheap and there will be a certain group of people who, who will actually buy, look for cheaper stuff and they do, they'll, they'll, they'll say, oh, this is cheap enough. I think for this, I can actually buy 10 of that. No, for this, I can buy 10 of this compared with the other more branded product. I don't mind just trying it and testing it. If, if it doesn't work, I just, just go back. So they will test it and then if it's good, they will just continue buying it and then words will spread. So word of mouth. So they will be people who are just looking for cheaper alternatives and these are the people who eventually will, uh, will talk about it. And, and it's a matter of how you research and whether then you will be able to find out more. And nowadays with the internet, it's actually easier to get uh, information from the, from the internet. Having said that, of course, nowadays there's a lot of fake reviews. Mm -hmm. you know? So you just have to be a little more careful. But I mean, you, you just have to check a few places, eventually you'll find that, well, after I've checked so many areas, it does seem that it's good. Then you can test it out. Yeah, I, 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 I usually I, do that. Uh, unless yeah. uh, if my friend recommends. Yeah. It's a friend so that I, I think, So I just want to give an example of my TV. Okay, I used to buy Samsung TV like 15 years ago, I buy Samsung TV because 15 years ago, Samsung was not a big brand and I refused to buy Sony TV. Wow, shit, I'm talking over the brand names here. <laughs> it's okay. It's all, we're all them. not sponsored by anybody. Yeah. So it's fine. These are all genuine, yeah, genuine you remember feedback. 15, 20 years ago, Sony was the brand. <laughs> and, and, and I feel like I'm paying, if I buy a TV, I'm paying up just for the brand and I refuse to do that because it's like, how much better is it? Then I just look at, I went ahead and look at Samsung because Samsung was up and coming at the time. And I, I bought a few things that Samsung at the time, uh, uh, a Samsung camera and a Samsung fridge, and they were really good. Um, so I started buying Samsung TVs and I actually have two Samsung TVs in the house. Um, <clears throat> but then recent years, um, of course, 15 years ago, the Samsung TV that I bought wasn't smart TV. La. But then I, I needed to move on to a smart TV. So recently I wanted to buy, like five years ago, I wanted to buy a smart TV. And then I look at Samsung, it's so expensive because they have improved, they did research, they leap and bound, they gone leap and bound. But I wasn't willing to pay for it because they're just too expensive. And then for the things that I want, I realized there are actually other brands that's available. Uh, although some of them are really unknown, um, especially some Chinese brand. There's a brand called Hisense. And recently, there's one brand that's Singapore called Prism. Okay, by the way, you're not sponsored by them. I'm just letting you. Really disclaim at the beginning of your yeah. So, so I actually tested Hisense. And, and I, I checked with my friends in, in, in China and they said that, oh, Hisense is a good product because it's actually very well known in, in China. Then I said, but we don't know it here. But... And then for the same specification, it's actually a, like six seven hundred dollars for a 50 inch TV. Well, I could have paid like thousand over for a Samsung TV. So I, I was like, okay, it's almost half the price. I'm willing to check it out. So I did a lot of research. I went to Lazada. I went to Amazon. I went to a few online sellers to look at the review. So, and I keep reading all these online sellers and nobody seems to say it's bad. Everybody who willing to try it out, say that it's good. And they say that, it is worth buying and they're willing to pay even though it is almost to them it's called a white brand is, is it is that the word they use yeah it's like white brand of goods they say no no point paying up for tv so everybody who tried it said recommended it so i eventually went to buy it and it's still working and it's very good and i would recommend to people so 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 but recently i saw singapore also came out with a new tv which is called prism and I've got friends who bought it and tested it, and they all say it's great. Uh, no, no point going to pay up for the other brands that is now like the big names in the market. So there are things like that. So it is, is, is so what type of things would you want? <laughs> well, there will be things like that, that I will pay up. <clears throat> there will, of course, there will be things that I'll pay up. Okay. Things like my phone. I will pay up. You you will buy a branded one or a certain brand that you prefer. I will I will I will I will buy Apple. Okay. 
for two reasons. For two reasons. Um, I didn't like the Android system uh, and I didn't, I didn't like the way um, Android, let's not talk about the company, handle privacy. <laughs> Okay. I didn't like the way it handled privacy. So I trust Apple for the way it handled privacy a little bit more. But that is not the key reason. The key reason is that that particular app that comes with an Apple phone, and I need that app. It oh. only comes to Yeah, so, so, it's not, so it's not a matter of the brand. It's a matter of what, matter of what you needed. The what's functionality. needed. The functionality. Yeah. Because so, so that, only... This, this is not a fair comparison already. Why it's yeah. not, that is not a product anymore. It's about what it can do that you need it. So, and, and, and so you're compelled to pay the higher price. Yeah. For for that that product. I can, I can don't pay for it. I can don't pay for it and then get a cheaper phones and then go to the Android market and get a third party app that's similar. Correct, right. So, so I haven't, purpose. But the thing is that I haven't found I haven't found a third party app that is just as good as that app that comes with Apple. Yeah, that's so the thing. The app. Yeah, so it's about the app and not and not the phone itself. So yeah. if, functionality if, la, in that sense. Yeah. yeah. So if if there was that app was also on Android, then then you have choice. Okay, yeah, then then I have choice. Then of course you say you, you, you still don't like that other company and the Android system. Okay, yeah. so really it boils down it, it boils down to what the product gives you rather than whether it's branded or not. Yeah. Unless that product in the Android system is one tenth of the price I'm gonna pay for Apple, mm, that it will be a big draw. Yeah, see, see, so so that so the differentiator is not the brand but but what it comes as okay. or with. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, maybe maybe I maybe I uh, maybe I to set a bit of context and uh, maybe the up question I answer first. So the type of brand of products I've made before, I don't know whether I've said it earlier, but it would be uh skincare and products and, and cosmetic products that touch my face, like directly like foundation and lipstick. That that I think that's what lipstick especially because you eat it. Yeah, so so then then that 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 is about that is about what the product is. Rather than whether it's branded or not, right? Correct. Because we talked about alternatives earlier. Yeah, but generally the branded products, I have more trust in them, technically speaking. Yeah, not not the cult brands, but uh traditional brands. Okay, so when you say branded, a reputation is, to protect. Okay, so when you say branded, mm. um, let's let's define branded. So branded versus unbranded or so, so we are, are we saying that branded is because it's a brand that we know of or it's a uh, well-known brand? Mm. Well, it's well-known, well but price also. Yeah, well, so, because, so, <clears throat> because all products are branded. I mean, there's a name to correct, it. Correct, even, yes. even Muji, Muji, which is called in Mandarin, <clears throat> no, it's supposed to be no brand. It is a brand now. Correct, correct. Yeah, so I'm just attempting to, to, to define what we mean by the word when we use the word brand. It's just like mm. it's just like Porsche and Hyundai are both brands. Mm. Okay. So when we say buy when we buy a branded product versus versus a brand X car that came out of don't know where, somebody's garage, and then they they just build slap the car it together. And slap it together. So so that's an unbranded product because nobody we don't know where. We don't know which hole it came out of. Okay, versus <laughs> which orifice is slithered out of? <laughs> <laughs> which orifice is slithered out of? <laughs> okay, it drove out of, brother. Drove versus, out of versus, of versus a Hyundai brand, which is a mass market brand, or a, a, a Porsche brand, which is more a luxury brand. Okay, so they're all brands. Okay, and and. Okay. and so, so we're, um, we're distinguishing that, right? Okay, and, and, so defining it will be it will be in the most commonly used sense of the word, no? Like branded brands, branded brands will be brands like uh maybe YSL, Lamia, Porsche, Apple. But for for every one of us, we can have different definitions of brand, and that's okay because that's how we decide on things. Also, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for me, so my different. yeah, my definition of branded is products with a name that I trust. Ah. That's okay. my definition. Yeah. Okay. 
Would you yeah, pay so more that. for that? I, I will pay yeah, any so, amount for products that so, I trust. So maybe, 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 then therefore we should say what, what, uh, are we willing to pay more for brands that we trust versus brands that we don't? Mm. And well, what type of product are you referring to? Well, it's tough. Um, I mean, how can you say brands that we, we trust and that brands that we don't? If it's a brand that you don't, you won't pay for it at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust anyone you want to pay, right? No, maybe the, like the, I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe not trust or trust. Maybe trust is not the, the okay, what, okay, like what brands are we willing to pay for and why? Yeah, yeah so maybe, and maybe we share our experiences. What brands are you guys willing to pay for and why? Okay, I already shared mine. Yeah, so for yeah. me, it's products that I trust, law, like, like, um, like recently, I just bought a microwave and somehow people around me, they are all surprised that I've never used a microwave before and I've never bought a microwave. My house doesn't have a microwave. So yeah. I just bought one and it seems to be a Singapore brand and it's quite cheap and I think that it's good enough for what I want to use it for. So even though it's cheaper, but it's, it's I, I trust the brand and it's good. So I got it. Doesn't matter whether it's cheap or expensive, end of the day. Mm, yeah. mm, mm. Okay. I absolutely agree with that too, but um, so so it's, I think sim similar similar thing like uh, I used to I used to be influenced by marketing, <laughs> and my first microwave uh, I was mesmerized by the marketing, <laughs> and I. <laughs> And I, and I, it was it was a it was a steam it, it had lots of functions okay and it was supposed to be a good brand okay and but but in the end we in the end I ended up not using a lot of the functions or the functions didn't work as well as they claim and but more than that, the the product didn't last very long okay and, and and there was a premium that was paid that I paid for it then event eventually I figured I figured out that all I needed from from microwave was a, a very simple function. And 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 then after that, I bought a fifty dollar product, a fifty dollar microwave product. Okay, with the spin down, the spin down. Yeah, then yeah, on, yeah. The yeah. Thing. <laughs> yes, yes, money like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that worked. That, that worked. That that served the purpose of what I wanted the microwave to do. And 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 that lasted years. Okay, so so is so it wasn't a matter of whether so I trusted so I, I definitely trusted the first brand because it was reputable. Okay, I paid a premium for it, and it, it wasn't it wasn't as good as or, or or it was not better than than this cheaper product. Okay, from a, it's a cheaper, lesser known brand, and then, and and so then the, the question is then do we pay for the better known brand, and seemingly trust and then and then we then it betrays our trust <laughs> really <for> it. <laughs> yeah i know i feel so cheated yeah so, so, cheated. so for me <laughs> I I would pay, <laughs> so i'll pay for the product with the functionalities that i need so it doesn't need to come with a brand it it, it if it's not well known it's fine i don't care if, if it, it, it it gives a functionality that i want it just works for me. I mean, talking about the, I also want to talk about the, the, the microwave oven that I have. I actually pay up for, actually, but I used it for a long, long time. I had a microwave oven that I used for 20 years. Um, it, and it comes off. It is a, I didn't fall in one. It, it can grill. It has conventional. It's a conventional oven. It can grill. And then it, it's a micro. Yeah. So, so I like that. Oh, I have everything in there, so I don't need a, a convention oven or anything. So that is good enough. Uh, I, and you I can use, use that. It? I use some of it. I use part of the convention, convention part. But I realized I didn't use much of the grill stuff. So most of the time, I still use the microwave part. So a lot of times. But one thing I didn't like about it at the end, which initially I thought I like it, is the touch. It's not a touch screen at the time. 20 years ago, don't have touch screen. It's not so prevalent. So it was a touch button. Uh, you know all those kind of touch pad button but recently it started to fail just like la end of last year it started to fail so you some of the buttons you press 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 it doesn't work and then i realized that this stupid touch button thing 
feel inside I can't do anything about it. But if you after 20 years, okay, ready la. Yeah, so I started to get annoyed. Then I realized I actually didn't use a lot of the other functions. I use mainly use microwave and defrost, microwave and defrost. So I, I then saw Douglas also have that oven, microwave oven. The group, group, and it works so well. I'm going to go back to the mechanical stuff because it just works. Okay, I don't have to worry about that stupid touch button not working. There's a so reason why that. the old fashioned old fashioned products last so much longer. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So just, but I I know it's working. Already. I mean, I used to have a a washing machine that uses is has some touch panel and then. The stupid motherboard fail, and then the stupid washing machine cannot be used. Oh no! You use hand la. your hand never fail. <laughs> so annoying, you no? Know? So after that, when I replaced that washing machine, of course, that the washing machine lasted for fifteen years, uh. Okay la. But after that, I changed it. I said, no, no, no. It's best to have the tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> I can't stand those. When when the motherboard fails, that's it, no. So means okay. what? Every everything okay. revert to the to the primitive electronic I, oh, stuff. Not really, not really, because nowadays a lot of stuff, even with even if it's the DAO stuff, there will be some electronics in there. They will be. You you can't run away from it, man. Uh, even your okay. microwave does your microwave have a have a digital dark screen there to tell that you the time high. and everything. Yeah. Mine if you don't have that, maybe Mine maybe don't have a fun. yeah. Then then maybe don't have the uh, electronic chip in there. Okay, but if you have a clock in there, a digital clock or, or the timer is digital, then you have a digital electronic stuff in there already. Then the okay, anyway, 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 so anyway, you won't pay. So 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 so, so Chunho is brand agnostic. Yeah. Okay, so it's Me. not about brand. It's about the product. Maybe we maybe we need to change the title to what type of products or why and when would we pay for a premium? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the brand come some certain branded products or more well known brands, they come with premium. We are paying for that premium. A lot of times it's just marketing though, but there are some times that it's it's true that the premium does translate into higher value la, or gives you the certain function they are looking for. True. And there are some well-known brands that actually do last longer. Mm. Yeah, but you're talking, are, about, but you're, you're talking about white goods. So so whether yeah. they last or not versus versus consumables. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, like consumables. Like, what yeah. is white goods? How household household products like your washing machine, fridge, TV, yeah. all those are white goods. But then there are like apparels, apparels and and and, and clothes you wear. Mm. I mean, there are some that actually do last longer. They are of a certain brand and they do last longer. They are made yeah, but you pay, of quality. Yeah, but if you pay for a cheaper product, you can ten. You can, you buy you can buy ten of the same same thing. <laughs> it, will, it will last the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but the, the other thing is that what you want to pay so much for clothes, and then after that you cannot change the clothes. If you keep on having that clothes, then you keep wearing the clothes. Yeah, yeah, clothes. Okay. It's not just clothes <laughs> anymore. It doesn't just serve a function. Right now, clothes is is a way of you uh, being able to express your individuality or uh, you know yeah. your artistic side or fashion. So you don't want, want, you don't want it to last forever. So you don't want it to last forever. You yeah, want to correct. pay for what? Pay for the short use and then and then dish it out. Fast fashion. It's like it's like Kia furniture. Uh. It's very cheap, but a lot of people buy it knowing that it's not exactly very, very good quality. But because they want, let's say they want to change the look of their house five years that later, they don't feel so hard pain, you know. And, yeah. yeah, but not so not so much anymore. And and Chunho bought the premium range of IKEA furniture that has lasted him how long? 20 15 years. years. Not 20, 20 years. years. I didn't Since know IKEA got premium range. No, no, premium range. The solid, the solid since wood I stuff. Moved up, yeah, oh. since I moved out of uh, my parents' place, uh, I, uh, since I moved out, no, the last time I stayed in Newton, uh -oh. it's still with me, you know? So, so I, thought, I thought you only had it when you moved into your, your current place. No. Okay, okay, no, yeah. The so, moment so, I moved out, is with me till now. So, so, so IKEA has got 
arranged had, had arranged back then the 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 cheaper products uh not cheaper products are the the one that uses compressed wood and then the ones mm. that use solid wood so mm. the solid wood ones you pay a premium for it and then it lasts a lot longer la. yeah so but even you, have, <coughs> you even you pay a premium yeah even if you pay a premium for it it's still cheaper than ah, all the other yeah. brands that's outside it is yeah but not anymore yeah not anymore not, anymore. not necessarily true anymore now yeah okay because, okay. because Ikea has upscale and and oh no, we know we're seeing all these brands. <laughs> okay, we're <Yeah>. not. Please <laughs> feel free to sponsor us. We'll be very happy to be sponsored. Yeah, because we also, they sponsored. <laughs> and because also there's Taobao and you can buy things from yeah. you can even buy furniture from China and they are good. Yeah. Some of them are really good. I, I, I know I, I, I have been buying stuff from 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 China. And 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 it's 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 amazing. Okay, the, the the value and the quality and and a lot of a lot of the time, okay, the products that we used to buy in Singapore, okay, where do you think they got it from? Okay, and I was just telling someone over the weekend, I had this soap dispenser, very nice, very nice that I bought from Robinsons for forty dollars. Okay, very nice, modern colors and okay, I have this kitchen soap dispenser from Robinsons, forty dollars a few years back. And and I still have it. Um, but recently I was I was surfing the web to look for some other household stuff and I saw exactly the same product. Okay, for five dollars. Oh my god. So so yeah. But if you do buy it, the quality will be different, you know. It will look the same, but the quality usually is not the same. Not true. It depends on no. whether it was mean. Yeah, so so I have that were so this this particular one I didn't I didn't get. But there were other products, similar products, which I, I bought. I had the product, then, then it, 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 it broke or something. Then I replaced it with the China product. And it was exactly the same thing. So I, think, I, I, I think with the, with the online shopping, uh, the, on, the cheap online shopping platforms, right? The thing that sometimes I feel uh, requires, oh, that's to me. Oh, it's downstairs. Who is doing the downstairs? Okay, anyway. It's basically, um, what was I going to say? Uh? Yeah, it's basically it's trial and error. Trial and yeah. error, yeah. you know what I mean? So, 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 so I, sometimes I'm against the idea, not because it's very troublesome, you you have to wait, then it comes. Yeah. Then if it's not what you're looking for, then you buy again, then you have to wait again. Then you're creating a lot of waste. I, I am creating a lot of waste in the process of, Mm. this process you know what i mean so that's that's something else that i look for also it, i'm yeah i'm trying to create as little waste as possible so so yeah so so i think that's what helps me all you, you have to wait so long and then it comes it's not what you're looking for then you feel so disappointed and betrayed and let down so that's like an emotional so i so so we can take umbrage oh <laughs> When the product comes, <laughs> I'm rich time. Oh, yeah, anyway, please, please. <laughs> yeah, when I buy it from China, still think I'm rich. I'm what? Wow, okay, so anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very, like, then there's a little bit like, oh, then you have to go online again. Then, you know, because there are so many different products and there's so many different sellers. It was offering, the pictures all look the same, right? After a while, you realize, just different sellers. So, you have to comb through it all again. Buy again, wait again, and come give me some of it. Then you unbreak again. <laughs> <And I'll... laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess it yeah. is like it can be a hit and miss. Um, then, then I guess it's, it's, it's whether whether or not we are willing to pay the premium or take the risk. Uh, so I think it depends yeah. on what kind of products also. Uh. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I mentioned, yeah. like things to eat or cosmetics. This one I'm a bit um yeah. I I I will hey, go speaking, go for things speaking that I of, So speaking of cosmetics. Mm -hmm. So we were having a conversation about moisturizers. Okay, something you put ah, on. Ah, yes, that and, one's very and, important. Yeah. So I was just I was just asking whether some whether uh, a group of people whether they felt the time was passing very quickly now, and somebody talked about eye bags. I don't know why. And 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 and, oh, and, no, no. and wrinkles. Yeah. La, okay. La, okay. Talk about wrinkles and 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 then uh and and then it's the same. <laughs> yeah, to him it's the same. I can tell. No, <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter the eye area. Signs of the age around area. the eye area. Okay. Anyway, then that then that led to a conversation about uh some skin products. Okay, mm -hmm. and and there were that so so obviously, 
obviously there's expensive skin products. So that's so somebody said this brand called Lamer. Lamer. Look at this. So it's a Lamer Lamer brand. So the stamp name. Okay, they are not going to sponsor us again. Apparently, Lamer is an expensive brand. Apparently, Lamer is not Lamer. I've used before. It is good. It's good. Okay, then, then, then. So I, I don't know, I don't know how much it costs, but apparently it's an expensive brand. And and then I'm reminded that I had an aunt, okay, who's who who lives in Australia, who's in her seventies, who doesn't look like she's in her seventies. She looks like she's in her fifties, late fifties, because she's really got very nice skin and complexion. And all she uses is this drugstore moisturizer brand which costs less than ten dollars for five hundred for five hundred g gram bottle um and that works and that works so well so 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 I then think it depends on skin type also <laughs> there are some okay, okay, la, this it makes it makes me very upset when i talk about this because there are some who just use water on their face and their face is so smooth the fly can slide off like my mom yeah. would say Someone and was telling me. me. Someone was telling me this older lady. She said she don't use soap one. She just use water and wash her face. She don't use sunscreen. Also, she just go out like that. Just like yeah, they don't use anything. So 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 I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's genetics. Or no, maybe but it's... but it's true. Skin, we have different type of skin. Skin types are different. Okay, I've got a friend, a schoolmate. He has very smooth skin. One really looks good. But I don't know whether he take care of his skin because recently when I met him, oh no, he has age. So I don't think he have because his skin was so good when we were young. I don't think he was taking care much of it. But mm. as we get into our fifties, the signs start showing, which means he actually hasn't been taking care. So he yeah. actually didn't do a lot to the his skin. But oh, but so, if, skin care so, so I think I think even if you have good skin, you need to take care of skin, even if you use drugstore brand. I think it helps. Okay, I need to put on my mask later on. <laughs> yeah, I you need to... <laughs> don't moisturize your skin. have to mask, wow. the kind where you just put it in and go and sleep, let's see. Isn't those no, dry? No, no. The mask. <laughs> no, not the sheet one, but the, the sleep is not the sheet, not, don't, don't put shit on your face. <laughs> 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 it's the it's the kind where it's like a gel or a cream and it's called a sleeping mask. So specifically you put it on your face and then you go and sleep. Oh I don't like then you cannot sleep sideways. Uh I put a very thin layer on me. Or yeah, I only put on my sensitive areas. You wake up. Or sometimes your... I put that and wipe it off. <laughs> Imprint on your pillowcase. No la, you yeah, don't la. La. Then that's a very lousy one. You should be using <laughs> don't pay no matter how much you don't pay having said that yeah the, the, it depends on the skin type some some people's skin do need a certain kind of uh, mm. richness of the product yeah. uh, but the, the, one, the, one, the one the one that you talk about yeah, some, some need a little bit lighter product they cannot use the rich because it will cause them more problems so those skin types they cannot take the rich products they may have more problems then they have breakouts and all those stuff and and the mirror is actually, product doesn't mean it's rich. Yeah, but the mirror is actually yeah. richer. Not expensive, not that expensive will be rich, but the mirror is actually richer. It is. I just it's, say it works there for her. Yeah, for her lah. I mean, but seriously, she, I don't think young people do need that. Lah. I don't think young people need that. And, and, and I think in a humid country like Singapore, where there's a lot of moisture in the air, you don't really need the mirror. Oh. Maybe you get older and then your skin just dry and you even the moisture in the air is not going to no help it and then you don't use it. <laughs> but when you're about 50 or 60 or 70, I think you will need a very rich, much richer product. You you have to you have to get richer as you age. Yes, yeah. that's true. <laughs> but, Both but, in terms of this and this. Yeah, but then again, <laughs> yeah, this. But then again, as if you take care of your if you take care of yourself and you're younger, you keep it up and, and it, it actually you you can maintain it all mm. the way into your mm. 60s mm. one. It really yeah. helps. Uh. I mean, as you yeah. age, it really helps. 
Okay, so 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 <laughs> so then talk about expensive cost. I guess expensive skincare is something that a lot of people is going to pay for. If it works. If if I find a skincare that works for me, I'll stick with it until it no longer works. <laughs> no. no, because sometimes as like sometimes certain things I use for three, five years, then after that I reach a certain stage or my face, my skin reaches another age. We need something else already. So it's just being being clear lah. But the skin is always a hit and miss thing. I mean you have to try but one. Yeah. But I tell you, there are always new startups that come up with products, and there's some of these new startups that come up with products actually just as good and cheaper. And I've tested some of them and I switch. Yeah, I know, but I don't dare to test, especially if I already have something that is working very well for me, unless oh it goodness. doesn't work anymore. Oh my goodness, because, you're, young, you're so much younger than me, you should be willing to test. No, because my skin is sensitive and it breaks out very easily. So if oh. I test right, yeah, I, I, I have those kind of skin, if I test right, uh, then immediately there will be a disaster. And then the, the, the things I have to do after that to get it back to where it originally was, I have to spend a lot, a lot of time and a lot of energy and very sad and unbraked. And <laughs> then you have to, when you clear, <laughs> when you clear it out, it's, well, it takes very long. You know, the moment you have a breakout, it takes very long. But it's very fast to break out, but then after it takes very long to clear. Can you test it on your husband? <laughs> he it's has the kind of skin that before he met me, he was just using water to wash his face. He doesn't even use, use cleanser. Only after he met me, and then he started seeing the range of things that I use every night. <laughs> then he was like, huh? Then after he started to say, oh my, this is a wrinkle. I said, because never take care. <laughs> then, then, then recently, recently, maybe the past two, three years, then he started using, like, just face wash and the moisturizer. But I tell him it's too late because the wrinkles are really the sea out. Does he use the sea use the same detergent for hair, face, and body? No, a shampoo and a body different. He I can know, use know, yeah. the same. Uh. I know somebody who does. You just use the same wash for, <laughs> and then he used and then, to. and then recently realized that oh my god. Shampoo actually works differently and makes the hair feel nice. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that the Who ingredient. That? Wait, 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 wait. I have, to, I have to say this, but the ingredient that actually it does. It's not just no, it's But the ingredient that the ingredient that does the job of cleaning is the same. It's the same. Yeah, for the hair, for your body, for whatever. It's just. But they add other things inside for they, hair. They add, it feel things, nicer yeah. on the hair because they add certain things in there to make it feel nicer. Because really? if you, you use a normal yeah, if you use a normal soap to go and wash your hair, you can you can clean it up, but then it's dry. It's it just feels stiff drier. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it just feels stiff. Your yeah, hair looks like a broom. But there are soap. There are soap that there's a little bit oilier. If if it's um. I, I, what do you call that? The 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 made the handmade soap, but some of those handmade soap they put a little more oil in there. Oh, but you can okay. use, you actually can use it on hair because it moisturizes your hair as well. And then you can use it on the skin. You moisturize your skin. Okay, mm, but don't. It's very but, like, it's, it's just very expensive to use. No soap is actually very cheap to hand, make. One. Hand, yeah, but they don't sell it cheap. Yeah, they don't sell it cheap. <laughs> that's my that's point. Why, that's why we are paying for convenience because all these things. If you know the ingredients, you can make it yourself, right? Yeah. You yeah. can! Yeah. So it's very easy yeah. to make one. Yeah, you can, you can. So, so at the end of the day, it's like we're paying for convenience. Okay, so you know you got, you got formula for soap, is it? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> just you go back, tell you. Care, soap is just, okay, soap is just fats and sodium hydroxide. Okay, I'll go and, go, I'll go and Google for a recipe later and make sure out. Sure not! Make you make one, I go and try. With, you I, see? I Soap is made from fats. It is, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> what do you think? Is that creamy? Yeah. It's made it's from fats. It's the same thing why your, your soup, your Chinese soup that put in the bowl with a lot of oil on top, you put in the freezer, the thing on top, <laughs> right? That's, that's, that's the texture, <laughs> ma, similar. I mean, I'm talking texture-wise. That's, that's for the... Not that, I'm not asking you guys to use the fat from there, okay? Yeah, I'm just saying that there's a texture of fat when it's solidified, so it's similar to soap. Okay, so anyway, yes. 
Okay. Yes. So definitely, every now knows I will pay a premium for skincare that works for me. Mm. Same. I think a lot of females. Yeah. Okay, like it's, the, it's mostly the women uh, and some men. Yeah, some, but some, but as you age, then I don't know, but there's a cheaper way now. You just go, you just eat uh, vegan whole foods. Not really cheaper. It's cheaper if you prepare at home, uh, but if you eat outside, then. Eat what? Vegan whole foods, do you say? Yeah, like uh, vegetable and whole foods. Whole foods. Plant based whole foods. Well, that's from the inside out. It will take so long, man. Oh, mm. uh, but we are. We have at least fifty more years to go. Right? <laughs> we should start now. Uh, think about all the, the crap that we be putting inside, all the crap that we be eating. And just stop putting in crap. Results. Yeah, correct. Huh? So, so, so that's another way to beautify from inside out. Uh, instant, instant results don't last. It, can, results it comes as quickly like, as it goes. Like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the people, the people who pay a lot of money for for special diets to lose weight and all that. Um, so that's would you pay? Would you pay money to to for this for these supplements to diet to diet and lose weight? I've paid and, a lot over the years. But does it? But it's, not, but it's not sustainable, right? I mean, does it, okay, does keep it, on taking it, then it's sustainable. Yeah, there were, okay, yeah. among all the different, I've tried all kinds, whether it's pills or liquid powder, whatever, I've tried almost everything, even though some of, are not allowed in Singapore because of certain dangerous substances inside. I've tried them, and uh, that among, I, I would say I've, okay, I would safely say I've tried maybe more than 20, different products over the years, probably more than that, way more than that. And and there's only two that works. And oh, they are you. both, yeah, uh, yeah, and they are both, uh, um, it has been prescribed by doctors. So it's not something that you can buy off the shelf. In Singapore at least. Uh. So yeah, but, but, yeah, so, so you. But care. once you're off it, once you're off it, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, so 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 much so so there's so much for convenience, right? There's mm. so much thing for convenience as opposed to mm. managing your diet, your level of activity. Yeah. Oh diet is correct. The way to get slim that nobody wants to talk about: eating sensibly, working out, getting enough rest. Yeah. So you pay for you pay the premium. You continue to pay the premium, and then once you stop paying the premium, then you you revert mm. to whatever mm. state. Okay, so that's so, but the people who are willing to pay for that, right? Yeah, convenience so is the same one. Like if you convenience eat salad outside, yeah, if you eat salad outside, if you are uh, working in the CBD area, you eat a salad outside, how much is it? $7, $8? It's very cheap to do it at home, but you're paying for convenience. Yeah, so are, you willing to pay? so are you willing to pay for that kind of convenience? For food, uh? No, for, for, I mean like like for the dietary products. Okay, that that once you go off, is is that convenience that you're willing to continue to pay for? Uh, That's different because some people do it for hope, ma. They eat and then they hope that it will continue <laughs> to. That's oh, hope. That's hope. yeah, you. But I tell you, people really, you hope. I have been doing this since secondary school. Oh, no, no, not secondary school, since poly, I think. So that's about 20, 20 years already. 20 years, I've been taking all kinds of nonsense. And it doesn't work. There is there is no hope. Abandon. Don't be. You know, you know it's, it brought me on such a horrible journey of, okay, of uh, Denise, being betrayed. Denise, nobody will ask you to endorse these products for them. Already. <laughs> it doesn't work, okay? <laughs> The only thing that works is that really sensible diet, uh, moving or working out and, and having enough rest. That's why your yeah. treadmill came in earlier today. No, but I'm watching my diet and moving a bit more. So that it's helping uh, for me. So just really, yeah. it's it's really all about, right? Your calorie intake is lower than your calorie output. Yeah, no. that's really yes. sweet. Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's it. Uh. It's, it's, it's 100 minus 80 equals 20. No, so you lose 20. Uh, if that's the right, case. Correct. It is. Yeah. But but the, the a lot of, but a lot of the products out there they talk about appetite suppressant. So you do, you don't feel like eating so much. 
Yeah, but Sometimes. once you stop, once you once you stop taking it, yeah, then your appetite comes back. <laughs> yeah, I know precisely. So it doesn't work, and I have been, I have been so disillusioned. So don't do that. Don't don't. It's just, and honestly, you don't know. You know when when you don't know what they are doing to your body inside. And I think because of all the different shit that I have tried, <laughs> it's. Now, probably my metabolism rate and my insights are not working as well as they should at my age, actually. In terms of, in terms of dietary, and my body is now very resistant. It's like if you take Panadol all the time for pain relief, mm. after a while, Panadol doesn't work. So, yeah. I, so now when I take steaming pills, blah, 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 it doesn't work anymore. Even the one that used to work is no longer working. I mean... I didn't take it recently, lah. But last last when I tried it again, it didn't work anymore. So I decided, okay, this is it. I just give up now. <laughs> mm. Let's just do it the let's just do it the traditional way, because yeah, so, it's, it's not sustainable otherwise. Yeah. So the so that's so that I mean, coming back to what we will pay for and what we will not. So even even these things we you trusted, okay, or you have you had hope <laughs> at a certain level of hope. Then hope uh, that you were willing to pay for, and and then and then you were disappointed after that. So so it's it's a, it's the same thing at, at at any at at any point, right? That that the will our willingness to pay is based on our level of awareness at that point in time. So we might we might say that yeah, we are willing to pay for this because it gives us a certain value or certain utility or certain whatever it is. Um, but there could be alternatives which we are not willing to consider for other reasons. Like, oh, it's a lot of work to work out and to eat right. Versus, yeah, I pay for you know this 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 dietary product is branded. Okay, a lot of That's people. That's why food always tastes so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the day, we have to be clear. Though. Why are we paying this premium for? Is it for convenience? Is it for the attention it gets us? Is it for the ego? What exactly is it for the functionality? So if you are very clear about why you are paying for all these premiums, right? Then, then you will start to realize that what premiums make sense and what doesn't. Hmm. Yeah. Totally agree. Oh, is that my last words? Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god! You repeat that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I will repeat that again. I'll repeat that again. Uh, repeat, no need again. I will, yeah, oh, yeah. correct. I will repeat. It's like I will revert to you. Huh? You revert to what? Being a slime? No. <laughs> <laughs> Being a child? No. You don't revert, people. It's reply. Revert means you go back to your original state. It means you go back and bring an embryo. Okay, so anyway, uh, my, my last words are just be clear about why you are paying that premium. Whatever that reason is. For me, it's generally convenience and skincare. Because I, oh, convenience and vanity. Skincare is vanity. For me, yeah. Convenience and vanity. Okay. Okay. So once okay. again, be clear. Oh, theme of the day. Okay, my last words are done. Yeah. Oh, that I, I would pay for value and utility. Uh, and I absolutely refuse to pay for brand because of money that is spent for marketing. <laughs> so, the, so the more marketed a brand is, uh, I, I know that what I'm paying for actually is for the marketing because it has come from somewhere. So, so when I'm clear about things like that, uh, as long as I get utility, I don't really care about utility and value that I'm looking for. Then I, I really generally avoid anything else. I'm, I'm, I'm okay to test as well. So, I, so that's my clarity uh, to be discerning about what I'm paying for and not for non-value like marketing. <clears throat> Okay, those are my last words. Okay, <clears throat> I haven't seen anything. Oh, it's already. Okay, 
for me, um, I'm not going to say about what I will pay for uh, because we talk about it in the show. But uh, I think the key thing is like what um, Denise have said, uh, whatever you're paying up for, be clear on your reason for paying up for the particular product. <clears throat> okay. I mean, if you want to buy a car just to move from point A to point B, then you buy a car that can take you from point A to point B. But if you want to pay up for the car, then know the reason why you are paying up for the car. What is it that you're paying up for the car? If not, then always consider the alternatives because the money saved can be used for something else. And I always say, save the money, put in an investment instrument that can make you more money and then grow the money. Then you have more money. Then you can buy the booking bag. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 Me. Uh. Wow. Don't know that. Hmm. Last words. <laughs> I think it would just be. It's your money. Do whatever you want. No. If you if you like, yeah. If you if you like paying for premium and you see that paying for premium, then go for it. If you can do other things better with your money than do other things with your money. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> because you never know when you cross the road, whether you will get across the road. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> but just don't spend Sorry. above your means, though. That is very dangerous. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Rachel is typing out our last words. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. We will see you guys two weeks from now. And then we will talk about something else then. Today interesting because I was skincare and cosmetic. Okay. <laughs> and umbrage. Please don't use the word anyhow. Okay, anyway. So yeah. Alright guys, see you guys two weeks later. Bye.